So we're here at the ARM booth here at Computex. And uh, who are you? My name is Neil, Neil Tan. I'm an engineer at ARM. And uh, so you have uh, one project you did on your hobby, spare time, right here? Yeah, well, yes. So this is one of the projects we did for one competition last year. Um, it is uh, strength enhancing exoskeleton. So strength enhancing exoskeleton yes. using a STM32F401 MCU, Cortex M4. Yes, so that thing is right here. So that's the board. What is this? Oh, this is essentially the electronics and you know, it's connected? It, yes, it's yeah. connected to all different sensors and motors on the, on the uh, exoskeleton. So what's going on here? What does it do? Right, so this is essentially a microcontroller taking you know, different sensor readings from, from the sensor on the device which estimate the user's intention and you know uh, and puts enough power into a motor in order to sort of give the user enough assistance in the lower body. So how does the power work in here? Is there a motor? What is yeah, this? Yeah, essentially um, you have different sensors and motor with encoders uh, feeding in data back to the microcontroller and the microcontroller took this uh, computation. So it's the same on both sides? Yes, it's the same. And there's a it's motor the system in there? Yes, and these are the... Uh, How do you make this? Oh, that's a water cutting. Is it water jet cutting? It's not a 3D printing. Yes. No, it's not 3D printing. Well, essentially we made our prototype with uh, laser cutting in the beginning. But you know, um, if you want to support a user for real, you need something you know, that's not just plastic. So essentially, we go for the uh, water cutting. For so how about you push this into mass production? You want? Maybe you one day. Yeah, uh, we have. We people still need have this. Some people have issues with their legs, or yeah, I, I think it would be great help, and a lot of people can show interest in terms of um, you know how to uh, move this forward. Maybe we should all have exoskeletons and just walk faster. Yeah, that would be cool. Jump further. Yeah. Like an Iron Man. Be, yeah. be and be protected from the uh, impact. Yes. Everything. So yeah. what else are you showing here? Is this the okay. ARM embed area? Yes, this is ARM embed and IoT area here. Let me just put this away. Yeah. So right here is uh, those little things. What are they? Oh, um, so these are the, uh, you know, the device to cloud. Um, demos. Yeah. So what we have here is, you know, you have we have uh, eight devices here, and they have LEDs and Bluetooth module, microcontroller, and it's connected to. The yes, this is what we call the uh, uh, BLE Wi-Fi gateway. What it does is it takes the uh, messages or signal from from these devices here, and connect it via, via Bluetooth and. Um, for everything to Wi-Fi and to the cloud and display the information on the screen. Um, right, so let's, if we just press the button here, the LED lights on and you can see the screen uh, indicates the LED uh, you know, is active as well. And we can easily change the color here and there you go, and the color changes. But uh, I guess the m most important thing is all these kind of goes uh, to the cloud and as well as you know going, going through the uh, Wi-Fi VR gateway here and then comes back here. So. so you only need those small things here and this small thing and they're all connected on Wi-Fi and yes. then it works. So it's the device connector on the cloud. Uh, the or do, you have other, do you have another PC or something else? No, it's on a cloud. Yeah. Just the cloud with that? Yeah, that's right. So, Wi-Fi? It's, yeah, or it's Wi-Fi. through a hub, uh, it could be uh, a, a gateway? Low energy Bluetooth gateway? Yes. Is this it? What is this? Um, I think that's the uh, future version of uh, what's equivalent to the BLE uh, Wi-Fi cloud here. So, so this, this will is, be like this? Yeah, I mean, this is a Raspberry uh, Pi hat, right? It's a hardware add-on module sort of thing. Yeah. But essentially, you can string all the functionality into that little, you know, thing. You plug it into the power, yeah. and then you access a, a, a gateway. Do you work on this? Yes, that's the yeah. Devon company. Hey. You can sort of so what? What does your company do? Hey, uh, my company yeah. is doing the uh, BLE development bot. Uh, 
BLE development board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is this the BLE, BLE Nano? Nano, yeah. It's very small. This small? Yes. How can you develop stuff with something so small? <laughs> this, the, the chip inside this module is uh, Nordic. From Nordic. Nordic Cortex M0? M0, yeah. So, uh, BLE chip. BLE chip? How do you connect to it? This is connectors around? Yeah, so you can uh, use uh, embed online compiler and compile the uh, source code and then you load, load, load the uh, binary into the chip. So you can power as uh, a BLE. Nice device. How much it cost? Is it for sale now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About around 20. 20. 20 dollars, yeah. And you have many developers using it? So many. Is it very popular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How many? Secret? No, no secret. Uh, Where are you based? Shenzhen, China. Shenzhen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, is this how old is your company? Around four years. And you always do BLE stuff? BLE Wi-Fi. BLE Wi-Fi. Yeah. And uh, what's in the future? More product? Future, maybe. Um, our focus is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. You like embed and uh, device connector is a good platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very, so. good? Very good. It's the best. Or can you improve it? <laughs> can you do something better. Arm should do something better. Yes, I think so. It's great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Can you show this this one over here? Of course. All right. So what are we looking at here? So this is actually a commercialized product. It's a converged concrete uh, demo. One of the uh, smart city application actually. So you know every time we uh, when we are trying to build buildings, right? We have to use concrete. And it's, there's only so much concrete you can pour on, on your building at any given time because when concrete hardens, it heats up. And if you pour too, too much of them, uh, they crack. So that's not what you want. And what usually people do is they pour the concrete and they wait and they pour the concrete again. It takes a while and it's not the most efficient use of the time here. So if there's a way to sort of measure the uh, temperature of the concrete in real time... That's concrete. Well, I thought it might have been milkshake or something. Yeah, uh, no, that, that's, that's somebody that's left. The, uh, what's the I was just about to remove it. That's still Paris here. All right. Yes. So essentially, the same principle. They heat, they heat up as yeah. they harden. So that's the simulation yeah. of concrete, essentially. Um, right. So if you can monitor the temperature in real time, as shown in the graph here, uh, then essentially you can you know exactly when to pour the next layer of concrete. Oh. Right. So this is actually going sensor into the sensor hub. And using you know the low energy, low power, long distance communication, uh, six low pan stuff like that, um, to to the central hub, which goes off to the internet and goes up, goes to the cloud and shows. Does this also device connector? Yes, everything there. So there's a lot of uh, real products using device connector already. Uh, there are some products there. Or is it something that's starting? Um, that I'm not too sure of. I will have to double check with you. Okay. Yeah. And uh, this is IBM over here. Uh, yes. Well, this is uh, multi-tech. Yeah. But this might be the IBM Lumix. Yeah. Cloud. Wait. And yeah. This is the hitting the guy on the head. Yeah. Have you seen that already? Yeah. Okay. It was in the arm in George Clooney. Yes. It's part of this demo. Uh -huh. All right. And there's more arm embed right here. Right, so our partner sort of made this uh, small lock demo. It's quite uh, straightforward. We sort of uh, just press our lock here and just uh, go into the wireless and unlock it for you. Nice. Yeah, and then you just close it. Is and this part of the solution there? Um, yeah. Not too quite sure about that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. So right there, lock, unlock. It's lock, phone. unlock, and then you lock it back in. All right. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a lot of new uh, arm and bed stuff, and uh, this is very cool. What is this? This is a demo board for the BLE Nano. So the BLE Nano is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you connect? This, this connector. Connector right here. Yeah. You have other other demo boards. You have many different demo boards, or um, or people can develop their own. Mm, we have Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi board. 